Welcome to 14B. Let's give you the guided tour of the student accommodation. This is a seven bedroom student accommodation. It has seven bedrooms on two floors. And at the moment it's lived in, so you'll see it a little bit warts and all. So here we go, up the stairs, and the first room you'll come to on your left hand side is the lounge and upper, the lounge and small kitchen. In the lounge you've got two leather sofas and an extra little leather tub. You've got extra seating facilities on your right hand side. The upper kitchen is next to it, where you've got fridge freezer, toaster, cupboard facilities, oven, kettle, microwave, sink obviously, and crockery cutlery facilities. And there's also a little breakfast bar. And if we go past the leather sofa on your left hand side, we come across the washing facilities and drying facilities. In this little cupboard here, we have the washing machine and the dryer. Turn around so you get a better perspective of this room. There's the kitchen at the far end. And it's a coffee table and your seating facilities and where the telly goes. Each room's got facility for a TV and there's Wi-Fi throughout. Going out this room, we turn left and straight down the corridor into room number one. Here we are, into room one. Each bedroom has a double bed, table and chair, wardrobe, chest of drawers, bedside cabinet, spinning it around, we have got better perspective on the other side and coming out room number one we turn left to go up two little steps and you come to room two and opposite room three room two uh, you've got your table chair bookcase uh, students own tv uh, curtains, uh, blackout curtains, wardrobe, chest of drawers, uh, double bed, side cabinet. Each room is a decent size. Go across the way to room three. Room three. You spin across here, see all the utilities are the same, just slightly different layouts. Each one's got central heating in them. Each one's got a double bed in them, each one's got blackout curtains in them. Coming out of room three, straight across the step, two little steps down to the shower room downstairs. Downstairs shower room comprises of a shower. and a sink. Right next door to it, if we go left, is the downstairs toilet, which complies with a toilet and another sink. Next to that is the fire alarm box system on the wall. And we'll now go upstairs. See the upper floor. Upper floor has Four bedrooms and another kitchen and it also has a another shower room. Up the stairs, turn left into room number four. As I say, these are all lived in rooms, so you can all do your own interior design. facilities in room four. Next to room four is room number five. Again each room has a double bed. In 
to room six. Get a better perspective, we walk in. Spin it around. And then come out of six, turn left to go to seven. And we head towards room seven. Uh, again, they're doing their own interior design. This one's a slightly larger room in terms of got a sloping roof with Velux windows in it. Which has got a bit more space for storage at the far end here, as you can see. I can get into the corner here, take a perspective. There's the Velux television. Uh, bed, bookcase, wardrobe, etc. So I've just come out of there again. This room has three windows, Velux window there, one above the bed, have a spin round, one as you're coming in. Turn left out of this room, number seven, and you come to the upper kitchen. Kitchen number two. Kitchen number two has facilities like kitchen number one, fridge, freezer, kettle, microwave, cupboards. The only thing it doesn't have is an oven. The oven is the downstairs one. This room has the boiler in it as well, the combi boiler. Next door to this is the up, upper bathroom. The upper bathroom comprises of a shower, sink, toilet and a bath. Quite a rarity. Most student accommodations just have showers. This one has showers and a bath. Here is the bath. And spinning round, you can see the toilet, sink, and the shower. Okay, I will go downstairs from here. We'll just show you the Wi-Fi on the way out. There's the Wi-Fi. There's Wi-Fi on two floors. This is the upper floor, but if you want to have it on the first floor, you can do. This tends to feed the house quite successfully, but there is facilities, as I say, on floor one. I'll just show you the parking facilities outside and the bins. OK, we're outside again. Now we have bin facilities. We have three bins, they're collected every couple of weeks. One, two, three, just outside the property, so quite handy. Parking facilities are right next to it, but we do have it shared parking here. So there are other cars, commercial and student. Uh, it will take a quite a few cars, but we need to chat about how many we can fit in, depending on the intake of the, sh of the property next door and the commercial use for it. But there's usually a couple of spaces available. Right, we can just go inside now to finish off. Okay, hope you've enjoyed your tour. If you want to ask any questions, I've missed out anything, uh, please feel free to contact me. That's Lionel Horwich, mobile 075 069 16586 or lionelhorwich at yahoo.co.uk. If you want to contract or you want to take it any further or you'd like to ask any questions, feel, please feel free just to contact me. Thank you very much. Hope you've enjoyed the tour.